We're hearing from the candidates running for governor. Let's bring in our Capitol correspondent, Chris Rosado. Chris, good evening. Hey, good evening, guys. So today's forum gave the candidates a little bit more of an opportunity to lay out their plans of how they plan to get their get their agendas executed. As the only Democratic candidate on the ticket and former John Bell Edwards cabinet member, former Transportation Secretary Dr. Sean Wilson shares what he believes separates himself from the governor and why he would not be a John Bell Edwards 2.0. There's very little um, policy space between Governor Edwards and I. I think um, I am probably a little bit more uh, aggressive in some areas than he might be. We finally got to hear from the newest candidate in the race, Stephen Wagaspak, who said he got into the race primarily because of his 20 year old son, who he says has significantly more opportunities in Texas where he goes to college rather than here at home. And he wants to boost education savings accounts to help transform high schools into launch pads for the jobs of today. And I'm talking to him and now I'm starting to wonder whether he ever comes home. And so that became a very real sobering moment for me that made me realize the crisis we're in. As treasurer of the state for the last six years, John Schroeder says he would take the approach of a CEO and run the state like a business, saying his highest priority would be crime and education. Look, I'm b born and raised in and outside of New Orleans. Um, it's bad. It will get a, a lot of my attention, that and education. As the youngest in the crowd, State Representative Richard Nelson wants to get Louisiana on track with our neighboring states, who are taking most of today's jobs by changing the state's tax code. He says getting rid of the outdated system of Huey Long would free us from being held back. Nelson also spoke about his position on legalizing marijuana. You know, the, the argument you know, I'm a, a Republican, that's true, but I believe in, you know, free markets, limited government, individual liberty. I think that's consistent with that, those principles. Senator Sharon Hewitt touted her ability to pass over 120 bills in her time at the Capitol, saying it proves that she can work with just about anybody, emphasizing she's not a politician, but a problem solver. I thought Louisiana had an infinite number of problems to be solved, and so I did. I ran for office, the state Senate. I've been serving there now for two terms. Attorney General Jeff Landry points to how southern states are booming with people and businesses from other states coming in, except for us. Landry says putting more money into local governments and out of the state capital would solve a lot of our problems. Because that's quite frankly what our problem here in Louisiana is. All the money comes into that capital over there and all the local governments that everybody got to run around like with a tin can and figure out you know, how much money can I have? Lastly, the only independent in the race, Hunter Lundy, doesn't want Louisiana to look to other states for what to do, but rather instead wants to see us lead. Lundy, too, says crime would be at the top of his priority list. Tons of thousands of people short in law enforcement. Let's get them back on the streets. Let's get rid of this crime. Let's not tolerate the foolishness that we've tolerated. And as the governor, I'm going to be the governor for the whole state. So pretty soon we'll be able to see these candidates debate side by side, but we'll have to wait until qualifying is over before we do. Guys, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. So Chris spends a lot of his time at the Capitol.